Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope you're okay. Let me know in the comment section. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Good morning, Tim. You know it. Say hello in the comment section, like Tim. Uh, good morning. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're having an amazing day so far here in Cardiff. It is absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining. It's a little cold, but it is a beautiful, clear sky. And the sun is there. It's coming up. It's a beautiful winter morning. Um, I hope it's okay where you are, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, things you're going to need today. Good morning, Brian. Uh, are your mat? Okay. You're going to need a yoga strap of some kind. Okay. If you don't, then don't worry. Um, you'll just try and use a, a band, a belt, uh, a towel, whatever you have. It's just to help with some of the stretches. Uh, yoga blocks. Hopefully, you've got two of them. Uh, they're just going to help balance you out if. Like me, you're a little tight in certain areas, like my hamstrings are super tight. I don't expect you to be super gymnast-like or uh, super flexible. Uh, just try and give it a go, okay? So hopefully you've got those things. If you don't, then don't worry. Just don't go as deep and uh, naturally just adjust as, as we're doing it, but hopefully we can all have a bit of fun. If you've got a watch and you're into recording stuff, then turn those on and let's get going. Cool. So, if you've been here before, you'll know that I always start with a little bit of breath work. So you're going to sit onto your heels just like that. You're going to come up as tall as you possibly can, just like so. You're going to roll your shoulders back and down. Um, you're going to sit up as tall as you can. Now for there, I want you to just gently close your eyes for me, okay? In doing so, you're going to be much more aware of your surroundings, much more aware of what you can hear. But also feel. If you, if you can, take a big deep breath in through the nose. You're going to try and breathe in for four to six seconds. You're going to hold for two. And you're going to slowly breathe out for four to six seconds, depending on where you are as an individual, okay? Ideally, that's how I would like you to breathe throughout this session. And if you're ever kind of feeling anxious, to incorporate this box style breathing technique it will really really help you it's shown super successful in the special forces and i'm sure it can help us in everyday life so big deep breath in for the nose and gently breathe it away so and again Breathe in that way. Well done. Good. From there, gently take your knees as wide as your mats if you can. Then keep in that position. It's time to take a big deep breath in. And then gently breathe out. And as you do, come down, walking hands away as far as you possibly can. Take a big deep breath in. Gently pushing it away. So from there, coming up into a box position, you're going to separate your feet. Bring your knees directly underneath your hips. You're going to curve your back, pushing your chest away from the floor as much as you can. And a big deep breath. Sit. This time, curving your back, softening the elbows, squeezing your back as much as you can, puffing out the chest, sticking your bum up, and again, opposite, push away, curving the back as much as you can. Feeling it in the shoulders as your shoulder blades separate. Good. One more. This is it. Opposite side, squeezing your back, puffing out your chest. Good. From there, coming down, drawing the hips. But I want you to lengthen the neck. Okay, so don't just slump down, hide your neck like a tool, lengthen it. As as you can, draw the chest down, 
pull the hips down, lengthen those abs. From here, your feet go down, your hips come up, and push back as much as you have the flexibility in your body will allow. You're going to draw those heels down, those knees back, that chest down into that downward dog. Good. From there, coming back down, slowly lowering yourself, chest to the floor, big push away like before. Good. Feet down, hips up, heels back, knees back, chest down. Good. From there, feet together. Roll one leg up if you can. Heel is right next to the wrist. If you can see that, the back knee is up if you possibly can. Good. From there, you're going to rotate that inside out. How are we today? Let's see. You. So, gently coming back around. From there, if you can, you're going to bend that arm, slide it down on the back knee, tap the floor, shoot up. Down, shooting up. One more. If you can, keep it down. From there, coming back up with the hand, keeping that back knee down. Now, if you have yoga blocks, you're gonna pin them underneath. You're gonna gently place your forearms on them. With your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. A big deep breath. From there, placing that inside arm on the back of the head, you're going to rotate around just like so. Good. Coming back around. Coming back up. Lifting up. Rotating the back foot so the foot is facing this way. You're going to extend the back knee back and come up nice and tall, okay? From here, you're going to rotate your upper body. You're going to place your inside hands with the knuckles up against your inner side. You're going to come down the inside, okay? Pushing the hips backwards, okay? Sliding down just like that. Get down to the ankle or your yoga block, okay? If you want to place your hand on your yoga block, then bar these. And then from there, you're going to extend that opposite hand up as tall as you can. From there, bring that hand round, tap it, coming back around now. Okay, keeping it moving, keeping it fluid, but nice and slow, nice and steady. Focus on that balance, focus on that mobility. Big deep breaths as you do so. One more. Good. From there, back into a pressing position. I'm going to draw the opposite front foot forward. Okay. Remove the yoga blocks if you can. Place your hands down by your heel. 
In line with the ankle, you're going to rotate as best as you can. Good. Coming back around. From there, if you can, bend that elbow. You're going to slide down with the back knee as well. And shoot up. Big deep breaths. That's it. Good. Dropping that back knee if you can. You're going to slide the props back in. And the legs, obviously, you have the flexibility to come all the way down to the floor. And by all means, check that back in for me. Big deep breaths. Try and draw your heel down, your big toe down. Separate your toes if you can. From there, inside hand on the back of the head. Rotating around if you have the possibility. That's it, big deep breath. Good. Gently coming back around, okay? From there, what you're going to do. Lift up, rotate that back leg, draw this back leg back, stand up nice and tall, rotate the upper body, hand on the inside, you're going to shift your hips back, you're going to draw down like so, if you want to use that yoga block to rest on, by all means do so, draw the knee back and then extend the arm and look towards the fingertips as you're there. So, how are we feeling, guys? Are we okay? So, keep drawing that knee back. Good. From there, gently moving. That hand's coming in. Tapping. Draw it out nice and slow, nice and steady. Try and draw. The shoulders back as opposed to just the hand okay so it's as much about upper body the trunk moving as it is the arm okay so big deep breaths big rotation Last one. Good. From there, straighten the legs, draw the knees down, draw it back and down, hands as far forward as you possibly can, knees as well as the mat, hips to heels if possible. Big deep breaths. Nice and gentle. Good, coming up, draw forward, draw the hips down, press the head away. Good, from there, what you're going to do, pop these forward if you can. From there, bring your knees to the side of your mat, take them as wide as you possibly can. You're going to walk your hands forward, okay, draw your hips down, okay. Get that stretch out there, and if you can, drop the elbows underneath the shoulders if you can. Keep that body off the floor, if possible. Take a big, deep breath. It's amazing. It's 
So lift it up, nice and tall. Big deep breaths, guys. It's been brilliant. So coming back down if you can. Good, gently coming up from there. What you're going to do is come back into that downward dog position, going up as tall as you can with the hips, knees back, heels down, chest down. From there, draw back into a pressing position, feet in the middle. Your left leg is going to come up, you're going to draw forward, you're going to Drive your right knee back if you can. So, depending on your flexibility, you may want to stick a little of the other butt underneath your bum. I try to imagine that I've got a bar coming through my hip, a little spinning level, and I'm trying to keep my hips level as I do this one. So, you may want that out of the other block, you may not. Okay, from there, you're gonna walk your hands forward, you're gonna slide it down as best as you can. You're going to take a big deep breath all the way through. So big deep breath. So come up nice and tall. I'm going to lift myself, straighten that back as much as possible. Draw the shoulders back and down. Breathing it away. How are you feeling so far? Are you okay? Hope so. So it feels amazing. So easing it back out. Breathing it away. Breathing it away. Really focus on relaxing that breath work. Just kind of easing into that stretch as best as you can. You're going to lift up your right hand, your opposite hand, and slide that underneath your left arm with the palm up. Pull the shoulders down if you can. So big deep breaths. Focus on breathing in through the nose, just like at the start. Taking your time. Feeling that stretch in the hip. Good. Arm back out in front. Take a big deep breath. Then breathe it away. And as you do, gently walk it up again. Coming up as tall as you can, stretching up that spine. Good. From there, place your hands forward. You're going to lift up. You're going to slide up and back. As tall as you possibly can. Good. From there, coming down, swapping feet, sliding your right leg forward this time, left leg back as best as you can. Again, if you would like that yoga block underneath the back of your hip to support you, to keep you level, and by all means do so, you're going to walk those hands as far forward as you possibly can. Big deep breath. So 
Weave it away. Nice and steady and then gently come up. Or as you can, just like four. A little lengthening that spine should be getting easier now. So, really good, sliding down. So from there, slide in your left hand underneath. Deep as you can with that shoulder. Breathing it away, nice and steady. So gently come back up, stretching out in front. Take a big, deep breath in, and then push it away as tall as you possibly can. And coming up, mount control as possible. Good. Walk your hands forward, rocking up again, lifting that back leg up as tall as you can, drawing it back. Sit. Go down. Pop the knees down. Bring your hips to the heels. Deep as you can. So coming up nice and tall from there. If you can, you're gonna place your yoga box to the side. You're gonna Pop your legs out nice and wide, okay? So, from there, you're gonna go as wide as you possibly can, okay? Stand down like this, keep your toes facing forward, your body upright, roll it back, okay? From there, you're gonna push your hips back, and slide down as best as you can, placing those yoga blocks directly underneath your shoulders. Emphasize your chest, push your chest out as much as you can, draw your knees back as much as they can. So from there, loosening your right hand, okay, you're gonna rotate it around. Check a slightly for three ten. Pausing at the top, breathing it out, and embrace that stretch as best as you can. Really good, all right? Keep it going. Nice and relaxed, nice and steady. Good, Jimmy coming back around, opposite side, straight into it. Gently coming back around, swap the sides again. Last time. Good. 
Good. Journey swapping round. Final one. Leaving it away. Okay. Come back. Pause them at the bottom. Emphasize your chest. Draw your knees back as much as you can. And then gently coming up. Nice and tall. Okay, from there, if you can, I'm going to drop your knees down. Place your blocks in front. Place your hands on top of them. Stretch it out, breathe it away. Set so, it gently, cover it up nice and tall. Hope you enjoyed today's session, guys. Hope you. Feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little calmer, a little bit more in tune with your body, a little bit more stretch. Good morning. And uh, yeah, appreciate you all. So uh, thanks for the comments. Have a great day, guys. Well done, G. You know, amazing run by the looks of it. Uh, so well done. And uh, hello to everybody. Thank you very, very much for joining me today in today's class. Hope you're enjoying these sessions. Let me know how you are getting on, uh, how are you finding them. If you're getting stronger, uh, it's always nice to know. Tag me in some of your photos on Instagram if you want, um, either my personal one or tag me as uh, Recovery Lab UK. Um, all of social medias will be on the About section if you want to go on those. And yeah, check them out. Um, Otherwise, if you can, give the video a little thumbs up like you've done so far. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. You know, become a part of the community. It is growing, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I always like to remind uh, that the numbers are actually people and how amazing. Today, logged on, and there's 430 of you, which is phenomenal because I imagine myself in a room of 430 people, and it blows my mind. So thank you very much uh, for being a part of this. Thank you for your appreciation. Thank you for your kindness. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep up the amazing work. I will be here day in, day out, giving you everything and giving you and helping you as much as I possibly can. So thanks for being a part of it. And have an amazing day. If you can, get a cup of tea, a coffee, a bottle of water, Get out and enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the weather, wherever you are. Um, hope you have a lovely one, all right? I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for that upper body prehab. And if you're interested in cycling on Swift and you already are on Swift or you want to get on Swift or you're wondering what the hell Swift is, it's an indoor cycling platform that we use uh, to basically just have an indoor training session on the bike. So if that's uh, something you're interested in, you're a triathlete, a cyclist, or you just want to get a little bit fitter, um, add yourself on there and then add me as, um, as a friend and then I will add you into the training session. All right? Have a lovely one. Take care. And I shall see you tomorrow. Any questions, drop me a message over on Instagram and I'll uh, help you out as much as I can. Okay? Take care. See you soon.